An NBC4 follow-up tonight after weeks of public comment and careful discussion, Reynoldsburg City Schools have a new plan to deal with overcrowding at the Summit Road campus. NBC4's Candace Lee first told us about this story back in early April, and she is joining us live now outside district headquarters with more on the one-year plan, I guess, to ease overcrowding, Candace. Yeah, Colleen, it is a one-year plan. You know, board members desperately wanted input from parents and the community as to how to ease that overcrowding. Options included splitting up the very popular East Stem Academy to adding portable classrooms. In the end, they are deciding to cap enrollment at least for a year at the Summit Campus. For one year and one year only, there will be an enrollment cap for the academies at the Summit Road campus. We wanted to find a way to get uh, every student their first choice. Uh, the problem with that is there was no way mathematically to put any one group of students at, uh, at the campus that they, were, that they needed to be at. The Summit campus is busting at the seams as more and more students entering ninth grade have over the years picked the East M Academy as their choice. Originally, this uh, entire academy system was based on a cap structure where each academy would be limited to around 400 and change uh, students per academy um, and then things changed. It's a band-aid fix after public discussion and an online survey revealed East STEM Academy families were not fans of a plan to split up the high school grades with 9th through 10th going to the Livingston Avenue campus. Overwhelmingly this, the East STEM parents were most enthusiastic about keeping their academy. Um, it's become a family really. Uh, 9 through 12 a lot of kids work with the upperclassmen and the younger classmen work together to get things done and they didn't want to lose that. Other options would have cost the district hundreds of thousands of dollars for modular classrooms. Yeah, I'd rather spend some of that money on maybe updating facilities here at the Livingston campus, even looking at different teaching options for some electives, things like that. Begany says the enrollment cap affects about 100 soon to be freshmen, outgoing eighth graders who must now accept their second choice for an academic pathway for high school. And Joseph Begatty saying that he and the other board members will work closely with the community, parents and students to come up with a permanent fix to the overcrowding. And they, spent, they plan on spending the next year to do so, to come up with a plan for the 2017-2018 school year. Reporting live in Reynoldsburg, Candace Lee, NBC4.